Today, I'm going to take you on a photographic journey through one of my favorite places on Earth, Venice, Italy. My first exposure to Venice was during Carnivale, otherwise known as the Carnival of Venice. This experience has stayed with me now for nearly a decade and further deepened my love of photography and how much I wanted to see the world. This was a cultural experience like no other. Where else could you go and see a string quartet dressed in Baroque costumes performing in a shoe store? This festival drew people from not only Italy, but as far away as America as well. I had never been to a place where so many people wanted to be photographed. The costumes of Carnival were just absolutely amazing. The attention to detail and the artistic expression captivated my lens. You could tell that everyone here was enjoying themselves and the atmosphere of the masquerade. I also fell in love with the ambience of Venice, from the maze of canals to the beautiful architecture. My photographer's soul was taken by the city of canals. Some of my Italian friends at work told me the idea behind Venice was to get lost and enjoy yourself. I was remarkably successful at both getting lost and enjoying myself. I knew that this would be a place that I needed to return to soon. Unfortunately, it took five more years to get back to Venice. This time around, I was traveling on my own dime. Using the money that I earned from selling my stock photography, I was enjoying a two week European vacation with my wife. So being the cost conscious traveler that I am, I decided to live like a local. So I rented a small one room apartment in the Doro Dulu Sisterieri. This was a section of Venice that I had not had the opportunity to explore on my last visit. And it was also not too far from a grocery store. This trip was made about a year before I started vlogging. So please excuse the portrait orientation of some of these videos. Here's the quick arrival video of my apartment. Okay, arrival condition. Tiles, excellent. Show me the washer and dryer, so we're good. Since I did have a small kitchen, I picked up some groceries. Some food items are a little different than what I was accustomed to and cooking was a challenge. All right, so I'm trying to cook lunch here and I keep blowing the fuse. So I have to turn everything in the, in the uh, house off, except, uh-oh, take a blue another fuse. Except the uh, stove and the uh, uh, toaster oven that keeps electrocuting me. To also help keep costs down, I would grab food from the walk-up food bars around town. Cheap dinner in Venice. Okay. And I also needed to take care of a few items. 
the most beautiful part of Venice. Laundry. While waiting on the laundry, I did find this, the Green Door of Venice. I saw it used in photographers' images from Carnivale and just accidentally found it near the laundromat. I came to Venice with a few photographic goals in mind. I wanted to try and capture the essence of this one-of-a-kind city through the lens of my camera. Since I also wanted to capture images to sell as stock photography, I had to omit the one true element of Venice, its people. I don't like to photograph people without their consent, so my focus was on the architecture. The truth about the architecture in this 1,200-year-old city is that everything is different. Nothing is purchased from a big box store. Check out the unique doors and windows, for example. The thing about these ancient cities of Europe is that they age beautifully, something that we won't see in America. So I took this opportunity to also capture some background images to sell. Because this is a city of water, there are no streets. Bridges span the canals between most of the 120 islands that make up this beautiful place. Venice is a place to be explored. It's a maze of small alleys lined with galleries, cafes, and coffee shops. Around every corner is a glimpse into the medieval beauty of this lagoon city. One of the most famous sites of Venice is the gondola. In the years since my first visit, I noticed the gondoliers have started to work together, making their efforts more efficient and the standard ride a bit less romantic. This is what happens when Walmart does gondola rides. It's like it's a small world around here. Bumper to bumper. Nonetheless, I've opted to hold off on this classic Venetian experience until I can enjoy it with my wife. The art of making the gondola is now becoming very rare. The iconic gondola is all black on the outside, but may be decorated on the inside as the owner sees fit. These decorations sometimes include seahorses and elaborate furniture. These floating works of art have done well for me. This one earned me one of my highest commissions to date. As you explore Venice, be careful. Do you see those concrete steps just above the water? Well, that is not concrete. It is a layer of silt covering another layer a slippery algae that I discovered on accident. With this hobby, you sometimes get a little banged up. Yeah, I like times like this, just a little relaxing. As the day transitions into the evening, 
we make our way to one of the most famous bridges spanning the Grand Canal, the Rialto Bridge. The current bridge was completed in 1591. At over 400 years old, it still gives some of the best views of the activity on the Grand Canal. Venice takes on a whole new magic to it in the evenings. Except during Carnavale, I find that the streets of Venice empty early in the evening, allowing for a more quiet and relaxing time. Also, with the crowds mostly in their hotel rooms, other unique activities can take place. Attenzione! Alright, I don't know what's going on, but it looks like there's a nighttime race. So next year, sweetheart, I think we're going to have to try this. During a walk back to my apartment, I wandered upon a restaurant along one of the canals. It was one of those moments that just stops you in your tracks. This idyllic scene came out of nowhere. I spent two evenings photographing just this one spot. Ah, Venice, how I miss you so. There is simply no other place in the world like you. Here the soul of Italy captures the heart of all who wander your streets. For some reason your quiet charm beckons those who have been fortunate enough to stroll through your quaint alleys and meander amongst your festive piazzas back to you. You never actually leave Venice. Once you have experienced this amazing place, part of your heart and soul will always be here. Thank you for joining me on this photographic journey through Venice, Italy. If you're still here, that means you're one of my super fans and I want you to know I greatly appreciate you. If you're ready to take your support of this channel to the next level, then I invite you to check out my Patreon site. Patreon is a platform for creative people like me who do photography, videography, music, painting, what have you for us to connect better with our supporters and for our supporters to continue to support us and the way how it works is we have different levels of support tiers uh, it's a monthly support tier and if you explore the site you'll see each tier has a different level of benefit associated with it and you could start supporting this channel further for well essentially the cost of one cup of cafe americano per month so what will these funds be used for well, they're going to be used to help me maintain my YouTube channel. I'll be uh, using the funds to purchase more equipment so I can take 
better photography and also equipment to help support the videography part of the YouTube channel. And for those of you who are going to be on the expedition team, uh, I, this will help me explore new locations and you guys will get to see the behind the scenes content. I don't show you everything that happens on my YouTube channel. There's a lot of video footage I just don't use. Um, and of course you guys will be able to see that content and also get um, some extra insider information on my activities. So please take a few minutes, check out Patreon. If it's right for you, then I welcome your, your further support. But if not, I can welcome your continued support as a subscriber on my channel. Thank you for watching everybody and remember, never stop exploring.